NFL and USFL. And this isn't really a knock on the USFL because the USFL is definitely trying to maintain or keep their costs down the first year. That's why the hub city. The XFL is clearly wants to but isn't because they are hiring all sorts of people. So if there was a race between who has the most employees, I think the XFL is certainly winning that race. So also on the 21st, the XFL announced six new additions to the football operations department. Now notice the football operations department. Why? Because coming in very soon in June, we have XFL player combine. So they're putting together the football operations side of things is kind of out there now. It shows you, I'm really curious what, if they're going to do something similar to last year, or are they going to actually have open tryouts? I haven't heard anything when it comes to that. I will tell you that the USFL is certainly not having open tryouts. I have heard that for certain. So with Redbird Capital, so they brought in Russ Jiglio is a senior director of player administration and officiating operations. Jim Manos, senior director of football operation. Brad Campbell, senior director of football technology. Bobby Monica, senior director of equipment operations. CJ Cavalzos, director of professional college and professional relations. Interesting. And David Dykeman, uh, football special projects. We talked about him in the past as well. So uh, Russ Giglio, he returns to the XFL, somebody to bring back. He'll work with Mark Ross and Doug Whaley, a big time. Importantly, he will advise team personnel to ensure uh, equity and player acquisitions. Interesting. Then we have big, you know, he worked for the AAF and some others. Jim Manos joins the XFL as a, a senior director of football operations. We'll assist with player procurement as well as support day-to-day -day operations, including travel coordination, schedule for each of the teams. Work closely with Mark Ross and Doug Whaley on that. Brad Campbell returns to the XFL. I would say it's 50-50 with returning XFL guys and then new ones. As Senior Director of Football Technology, we're closely with Scott Har Harneman, a Senior Vice President of Enterprise Net, to support all technology innovations on and off the field to elevate the game day experience. Prior to the XFL, Campbell was Director of Football at Synergy Sports and worked with the Seahawks and some other teams there. Bobby Monica returns as Equipment Operations, responsible for ordering football-related equipment for all teams. You all see the staff, equipment staff for each of the team. So he comes back. Uh, CJ Cavaros joins the XFL as director of college and professional relations, works with uh, Mark Ross and Doug Whaley on all aspects of talent recruitment. And Dave Dykeman, we were talking about him, director of football special projects. We're like, this is like a new one. He's new where he will coordinate and oversee all specialized activities relating to player personnel and national combines. And now we have that on the list. He will also be a key voice in player evaluation, roster development, and recruitment. So there you have it. Some more staff added. Maybe we get another, some more staff this week. Definitely in the early months of January, we should hear even more about XFL staff, but they're hiring. Nothing officially on any website as far as, but the, the key personnel at the top football operations is getting filled in. And now we'll, we'll start to move down to getting the TV contract out there. We'll get the football teams, and then we'll start getting hopefully team presidents and coaches coming here in January. Well, not January, February, but starting in March, I would assume. 